Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and today's video will be all about trees in Revit. I'll talk about the, t the three main types of trees in Revit, where to find them online and load them in your project, how to use each type of trees and when to use each type of trees in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. So let's get started. I like to classify trees in three different types. You've got 2D geometry or 2D trees that you can use in site plans, then you've got 3D trees. And I like to split 3D trees into image-based 3D trees and geometry-based 3D trees. Okay, so let's explain these three types. So let's start from the most popular one and that's the one you get in Revit as a site component and those are these image-based 3D trees. Now you can load them in in your projects using this Massing and Site tab and here you have Site Component. Now these trees that I have here are all loaded in each template so when you start a new project you can always use them and load them into your projects. The reason why I call them image-based 3D trees is because they do look three-dimensional when you look at them like this but as you can see they're kind of assembled from two flat 2D images. Now this is quite okay if you're using some sort of a rendering from people's perspective or from the ground where you need to look at the tree head-on and that's okay you can use these trees you can use them like this in this uh, hidden line uh, image style or you can use visual style or you can use realistic visual style let's just close this and as you can see now this flips into an image and you can see it's quite a detailed image and you have your trees now this is usually great for making renders from people's perspective but if you, if I switch just back for hidden line for a second and if I kinda go like this watching it top down for example if you're showing your building from above to basically show the the whole site plan in a rendering if now you you flip to realistic and you look at these trees you can see they kinda look flat and they, they just don't look right so I suggest you only use these trees when you're viewing them head-on in a rendering or just 3D perspectives now let's flip back to hidden line to make scrolling around easier now let's talk about 2D trees. Now if you look all of these trees it ends kinda with this small quite detailed tree over here but if I switch to floor plan or level 1 you can see we have these two trees in addition to this tree so these we can't see in 3D that's because this is 2D geometry and if you look at it it's it's classified at, as a detail item so Unlike all of these other trees where you can go into Massing and Site, Site Component and find them here in the Properties panel, or you can also go into Architecture, Find Component, and then find them in the Properties panel. Just scroll down and you can see all of these trees. These 2D geometry trees, you need to go here in the Annotate tab, and you need to find Annotation Component or Detail Component. And if I choose this, you can see here we have this tree 2D plan and we have some different sizes so we can I don't know place another size over here but this is only visible in 2D plans so if you're just using floor plans and you need to add some trees around your floor plan this is amazing because it keeps the the, the Revit file quite low and it isn't lagging when you're kinda trying to orbit around in 3D okay so that's pretty much all you need to know about these 2D trees so let's skip back to into 3D and these are the most interesting these are the 3D geometry trees that means this whole these whole trees are modeled in geometry now most likely they're not modeled in Revit they're modeled in some other software and then just imported in Revit so you can't really edit them all that much and as you can see this here mesh it doesn't look like anything that's done in Revit now you can find these trees online I prefer using Revit City and I have included a lot of links to these 3D geometry trees in the description of this video so just click the show more button and then you will be able to download these trees you just need to create an account in Revit City and this geometry is quite useful if you 
want to look kind of head down and as you can see they look quite more realistic than these trees over here but the, the detail level when rendering is quite awful honestly except in case of this tree over here but this is just a, a lot of geometry now this your project will be lagging a lot if you have a lot of trees like that so that's not optimum and for all these other trees this just looks silly it looks good when we're here in this visual style it's hidden line but if we go into realistic it kinda looks silly and if you want to render you can you can see here I'm just going to type in double R for rendering just as, as a test render you will see all of these trees these 3D trees look quite silly except this one over here so it's hard to find the trees, 3D geometry trees like this that actually look good in a rendering but they make the file very hard, uh, they make a very large file and that's not good either and this again it looks kinda okay like this but in a rendering it will just look terrible okay and one more thing I wanted to tell you about trees in Revit and that's how you place trees in Revit now I mentioned you can go here to massing and site and go to site component or you can use architecture component and just find the tree and place it on your project but usually you're going to be placing your trees on some sort of topography so here I've got this topo surface and as you can see if I kinda orbit around it's this part over here is higher than this part over here and if you place your tree so let's just go here to massing and site, site component and let's use one of these 3D image trees that come with Revit like this one and if I place it here on this lower part and now here on this higher part you can see the actual tree kinda attaches itself to the face of this topo surface so it's kinda higher even though we've placed it like in 3D probably at level 1 it immediately made an offset and it's here and it looks right on this topo surface now if you were in level 1 and you wanted to place a tree and if you just went here to I don't know this tree let's go massing and sight let's choose a tree okay to want to place a tree just a second let's try component tree yeah let's choose one of these and you just place it like that in floor in level 1 and if I go into 3D you can see it kinda slips through the topography so make sure that you're either placing your trees in a site plan or in 3D view so it will attach itself to the topography and it will kinda follow the topography and one more thing you can actually change the height of these trees especially the ones that come with Revit if you select one of these and here in the properties panel you really don't have any adjustments except the offset but if you go into edit type you can actually actually change this type so even though this is a six meter tree if I just move this out of the way and let's type in I don't know something like 10 meters and go apply you can see it automatically changed its height but if I go escape and let's select this tree over here this is the one that I found online and let's try to change the height of this so let's go edit type and here we have the height is also 6 meters and let's try to change that to I don't know like 10 and go apply you can see it doesn't really change so it works with some trees and it doesn't work with other trees let's try this one maybe this one will work let's try 10 apply no this one won't change either so you either have to kinda go into edit family and try to scale it there or just use one of these image based 3D trees that you can kinda scale in order to get the tree height that you require okay so that's pretty much it for this video I hope, I hope you learned something about trees in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day